fans, what's going on? It's your boy King. Let's talk about the finale of the season. Detroit Lions finish off the season in high fashion going out and getting a victory against Green Bay. Um, I give this victory uh, the respect simply because, yes, they played Jordan Love in the second half, but in the first half, the Lions were doing their thing in the first half, man, against Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams and all the other guys that they had out there available. We definitely don't want to talk about availability because when it comes to the Detroit Lions, it's unmatched with a lot of these teams we've been facing as far as the guys that's out and missing. So, got to give them this, their, their full credit for this game. Um, obviously, the Packers definitely want to keep guys healthy, so uh, they elected to go with Love in the second half. And uh, the Detroit Lions defense from, you know, first to fourth quarter, um, where they did they did their thing, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't pull nothing back from this victory. Um, anytime I can beat the Packers, it's whatever. You know, the Jaguars are beating the snot out of the Colts right now. <laughs> but as far as draft, it doesn't really matter. You know, the Lions in the top three is where they need to be. Um, a lot of people think that the Jaguars is automatically going to take Kayvon Thibodeau. That's not going to happen. I think they're going to take an offensive lineman, if, especially to protect the quarterback over there. That's your biggest and glaring problem over there. Why would you not go and take offensive linemen? So um, the Lions will still have their pick of the crop when it comes to those guys. So there's nothing to worry about with them winning this game. Um, you know, that's that's not important right now. Let's talk about, you know, this season in general overall a lot of ups and downs for us lions fans a lot of emotions um but after a full season i promised you guys in the beginning that i'll give my my grades and my thoughts about dan campbell um you know and this is not overall because he still needs to acquire more talent but in the beginning of the season things were shaky you know, I was like, this looked like it's, it's turned out to be another one of those situations where we got a guy that is overwhelmed and, um, you know, is just not ready for that step. Um, and then as the season progressed, you know, more and more, you've seen this team respond more and more for this guy. You know, we had a few lapses, for instance, the Eagles game here and there. But, you know, like I said, we just got – how coach the game, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. But um, overall, when you look at the body of work for Dan Campbell, him electing to take the playbook from Anthony Land, who you guys know that I was never a fan of coming here, um, and basically learning on the fly and being pretty much excellent at play calling over the last, what, four to five games. So literally learning as he goes. And, you know, a guy that can, you know, do those type of things, man, is – it, it, it's something that you you want to hold on to. He number one, he 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 created a culture. You know what I'm saying? We haven't had a culture since the Caldwell era, um, and that's the most important right out of the gate when you're starting out in the rebuild. You want to create a culture, and our culture is the culture that he walked to the podium and told us. He walked to the podium and said that we're gonna get knocked down, we're gonna get back up, we're gonna bite some kneecaps, you know, and everything else, and. That's the type of team that this team is, is proven to be this year. Even though we only won three games and tied, um, still, we all know what this is. We didn't expect them to go out and win a bunch of games. We just don't have the roster for it right now. Uh, but for him to take what we do have and have them to play and show up the way that they have for this entire season and play for this man when they really don't really have much to play for um, as a team in general. You know, it, it speaks volumes to me to have these guys coached up and say, hey, this is an opportunity for you to show us why you belong on this team that we are trying to build for the future. So it motivates those guys. Um, but we all know that that that's not always the case with, a, you know, a lot of the teams that we had in the past in that situation where guys didn't rise up to the occasion. Well, Dan Campbell, um, Aaron Glenn, man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, Deuce and, and all the other guys on the offensive side of the ball as far as coordinators, they've done an excellent job with this team through and through. They really have. We actually maximize what we had available. We don't have big names available right now. Um, we have players that's developed into big names over the season. Um, DeAndre Swift obviously took the next, the next step this season. 
uh, guys like uh, Amani Oruwarie, my pick at the beginning of the season to be a breakout player, he turned into that. Um, you know, I'm in Ross St. Brown. This guy here on this autograph football. <laughs> man, I'm in Ross St. Brown. has just been so much fun to watch, man. He is such a surprise to take off this early. You know, some a lot of us guys, we were high on the pick when we did get him for where we got him. But we didn't expect him to take off this fast. And, you know, the Lions literally just need to go out and get uh, some, some more help at receiver. Probably another tight end somewhere. Um, and like I said, you, you're you looking at an offense, man, that can really, really do some things. Um, you know, Jared, Jared Goff is going to be here. But if you give Jared Goff everything, I mean, everything he needs, he's serviceable. He's serviceable. So... Um, you know, he's going to be here, obviously, because of his contract. But, you know, if the Lions go and get a receiver in this draft, um, you know, as long as it's not the first very first picks, <laughs> then I'm good with that because you need it. Um, you know, we got a lot of holes on the defensive end, obviously. Uh, but we also need that receiver. We need another uh, receiver. We need a big body receiver, man. That's just dominant out there and it makes everybody else better like those Hawkinsons that they wouldn't be able to you know uh draw up um uh, you know game plans to to stop when you got him i'm i'm ross st brown deandre swift um and then a a big time receiver as a threat that makes it very hard for defenses and that's what the detroit lions need our offensive line is solid the only thing that matt patricia and bob quinn did leave us in good favor was that offensive line um and you know like i said brad holmes just went ahead and and added to it you know what i'm saying and, and putting you know panay sewell and adding him to the mix man it's just been swell and great you know at the beginning of the season a lot of people were already trying to call panay sewell a bus and said he couldn't play right tackle and you know all of those things have been silenced all of them have been silenced and it's the reason why i'm absolutely excited for this team i am so very excited because brad holmes has a legit opportunity here in detroit that we just don't we're not accustomed to seeing so we're not you know a lot of us lions fans we don't know what we're looking at but if you're a football fan in general general you know exactly what we're looking at and we're looking at a great situation for brad holmes um like i said we're in a situation where not a lot of teams don't have an opportunity um to have you got your reserves ready already you have your depth ready already you only have to go in and plug in studs you know what i'm saying those stars that's the only thing you need to do you need to go in the draft and draft guys is going to impact your team immediately you need to go into free agency and bring some guys here that's just going to take you over the edge because you're in a unique situation you have to think about it Aaron Rodgers and Adams look like they probably are going to end up leaving the Packers. If they don't go all the way, um, you know, the relationship is so shaky over there. It's an opportunity where you, you may be getting Aaron Rodgers out of your division. Um, the Bears obviously need a coach and they need a, a couple, a lot of things over there, to be honest. Um, and then, you know, you look at the Vikings. So the Lions have a, a opportunity to get good really fast and go from worst to first we've seen that on nfl live and uh you know some of the um you know media articles out there where they saying that the lions um have one of the best chances to go from worst to first in their division so um i truly do believe that i truly do believe that just simply because the way that this team is structured and the the coaching staff that we have available um they went ahead and announced anthony lynn today that he will be um, moving on, which we all knew. So, you know, what we do in that situation, we'll see. But whatever it is, I just got a good feeling that, you know, we'll find the right guy um, if, if that's um, something they elect to do. So, you know, like I said, you just look at this team overall from end to end. Yeah, we need some pieces. We need some big time pieces here and there. Um, you know, we'll be getting, we'll be losing some of those contracts we don't want on this team. So, but these young guys, young guys, um, have been playing their butts off and, you know, in a first year of a true rebuild where you just literally stripped everything down raw naked, that is a plus. It starts with culture. It starts with culture. 
and that's what we did this season. We created that culture, and they did an excellent job doing that. Now it's to the draft. Those three steps, man. You establish a culture. You get that team to respect you and, and play and get up for you. Number two, you go into that draft, and you you rebuild and restore this team in that draft. Then number three is free agency. That's where you put the finishes touches and the finish, finishing pieces. And Alliance will have that cap space in the future. So they're in a very unique situation. You Lions fans, you you guys need to be very appreciative of the way that this, this staff has come in and switched everything around in such a short time. Like I said, it is so much resemblance with our other franchises right now. Uh, even when you look at the Detroit Pistons, Pistons made a big move today. Not a big move, but um, another heady move from Troy Weaver. And the fact that him and Brad Holmes have a relationship together is all the, the more uh, you know great because, like I said, um, they're both taking this time and they're taking their time and they're doing these things right. They, they walked in the door and let everybody know from jump that this thing is going to take some time. But if you do it right, you can speed up the process very, very quickly. And Brad Holmes has a, a, a legit opportunity to do that. He definitely does. So, um, you know, obviously we'll do our true season wrap, go through some stats and look at some things like that. Um, but for right now, I just want to say um, great job to Dan Campbell and his coaching staff and, and to all the players that gave their all this season, man, uh, especially from our unsigned, uh, undrafted rookies, man. And, you know, some of these players, you gave them a chance um, and they took that opportunity and they played well. Even some of the guys that we thought were in the trash heap with this team that's been around, you restored. Uh, you restored, uh, you know, Reeves Maven, you, re you restored Anzalone. You remember how bad we was on Anzalone in the beginning of the season? Some guys just couldn't get restored, though. You know, they like go Will Harris. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just talking, man. It's 12 minutes. Um, let me go ahead and get off of here, man. I got some more football to watch today. Obviously, big polarizing game today. Rams and uh, 49ers. 49ers playing for playoff. Uh, position uh, to get into the playoffs and also the Rams are playing for the uh, division for the division so it's a big time game I'm going to check a little bit of that out and then later on we'll be on the We Three Kings pod uh, with my brothers man we'll be talking about some of these things um, but congratulations to the Detroit Lions for beating the Packers and, and ending the season on a high note I hope you fans are excited as I am and um, you know let's just watch this thing develop and and, you know, hopefully we can get where we want to go. So with that said, it's your boy King. I appreciate you guys for stepping by. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.